I'm gonna go do some scouting. Got a 30% chance of rain and thunderstorms after three and it's about two now. I'm gonna go check something now. See you in a bit. I made it in got a couple steep hills I came down so hopefully and they're kind of loose loose gravelly material so hopefully I can make it back up with the mini bike but anyway I was gonna bring the uh, GoPro knockoff but I forgot it take you on the ride in but whatever so there was a spot that I found a big hunk of hematite here somewhere now I can't remember where the hell I found the damn thing um, last time we were in here I was with Ken from New York, Skippy the Townie, and we got to a certain point and he and his dog cut up in to avoid the boulders because Ruger, he's getting old, so, but yeah, somewhere in this area, I saw a spot that looked really good, but this one kind of intrigues me too, so I'm going to do a little bit of poking around right here, hopefully I can get some, a little bit of time in. So far, so good with the clouds. So, if I find anything, I'll let you know. Well, I got one pan in so far. It hasn't started to rain yet, but this is what's concerning me. It's backing up over there. Now, if lightning hits the river miles away, and my feet are in the water, <laughs> I become the human light bulb. So I don't know. I don't know. But I just did one pan. And there's. Three pieces in there. Small but kind of chippy. So this is definitely an area to be uh, checked out all along here, all along here, and all this bony stuff here. But anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It starts pouring, those gravelly hills are going to be even worse. Wind's picking up too. Zoom back out. What the heck? All right, anyway, we'll see what happens here. Well, it's two days later, and I did have to dust out of there right after I got done doing that pan. But I'm headed back in, and I do have my uh, GoPro knockoff. So let's take a ride back in, shall we? All right, I made it. So, thanks to Mary, I now have a little addition to my backpack, this little uh, pouch thingy, so I'm able to at least bring in the 23-inch pay streak finder, 
and my water sits in there nicely doesn't go anywhere because it's strapped to the bungee cord normally I have another one that hooks on here and connects down to hold this from going anywhere but I don't know where the heck that one went so step take it slow get the bike unloaded and we'll start riding in back in a bit
All right, so I made it in place. I already got it set up. I went up there because it looked like this might have been the spot that Cannon Ruger went up through. And it was just after that that I found a big hunk of hematite. So I kind of walked up in and I didn't, didn't see a spot that looked like it was the spot that I found it. So I did a test pan up there, got two pieces, but it was all really fine, fine black sands. Not super fine, but fine. I'm looking for the more coarse stuff. So come back down here and got this set up. Got it set up just right. So I'm gonna start digging probably in behind that boulder right there in this area and see what happens. I don't have my tripod because well, coming in on the bike, I didn't want to lose it. So I'll just have to show you in between steps. Back in a bit. All right, so I've gotten down about a foot right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the box and see what's in the stock work, see if there's any gold, check to see the, you know, the black sand content. But I want to point out some of these larger boulders, starting with, let's see, one, two, three, that one up there, and then they go across that. That almost looks like bedrock, but it's hard to tell if it's something and it got broke off and washed down and that looks like bedrock but I don't see any other indicators there's bedrock ledge sticking out here but it's up off the ground so there again it could have been deposited by glacier hard to tell but these right here now I was just out with Wayne and Jeff the other day and of course Jeff being a state geologist and me eager to learn stuff from both of them I'm starting to learn different terms now. When bedrock is closer to the surface, it's called a high bottom. And when you see larger rocks, that's indicator of high bottom. <coughs> but take a look at take a look at some of these boulders. They're pretty damn big. That looks like bedrock as well. But these are these are pretty big boulders down through here. And I do know down here there's a a pretty good turn in the river. That's basically an island. Of course, there's no water going down through the other side right now, but when the water gets high, it rips over there too. So it's created somewhat of an island down through here. Pretty high boulders where all that Japanese knotweed's growing. Pretty high pile up of overburden. But right down here on this corner, there's a, a ledge, and I can't remember if that's a contact zone or a fault zone. I want to say it's a fault, but I, I really don't know. I, I don't remember. But bedrock is down there and it's pretty deep. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the box and see what's in this. I'm, I'm more interested. Of course, I want to get gold, but I want to see what the stock works are. So I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, as you can see, the box is out of the water. The only thing I did with that was that one test. That was the first test I did that I showed you in between the two rocks, went down about a foot. Done some various other tests along here and down there. I walked across river, saw what looked to be pebbly black sand, marked the rocks, and walked down. Now, down there a little ways, Right in between, let's see, you got that there, that hump. Right about over in there behind that big hump of Japanese knotweed where the river rages through behind it. There is part of an A-frame, the rims and the tires to a vehicle, probably during Irene it got washed down here. So that's definitely where heavies are dropping out over there, I'd have to say, because that's some heavy stuff. Um, didn't have my pan or anything with me, so I didn't check. I didn't see any other indicators of heavies. No hematite, no nothing. I haven't seen any more. I did find a few pieces down in here. So with all the tests that I've done, I've only got about 10 pieces, and they're nothing big. So I'm going to 86 this spot. I'm either going to go down here and do some sampling on the corner 
this side of the river or I'm just gonna ride back up and hit another spot I don't know but this is not worth my time or it's just not worth the time so we'll see well I did move from down river and brought the mini bike back up loaded it back in the van and came to this spot here got the gold trap in right here and dug in behind this stuff first up in there and then down in here and I've only been digging maybe I don't know 30 minutes there's some uh, small not not real big but definitely chunky pieces in there there's 15 of them So this is a spot that I need to come back to and explore more. A lot of uh, a lot of really sandy material here, but more gravelly up in here. I'd like to get in up in here too. But we shall see. So I think that's going to do it. It's uh, after 5.30 now. I need to get back to the house, back to the shop. Complete the three-foot riverbed hog that's headed to Massachusetts and get it shipped out. So we'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everybody. Thank you.